Welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. Today we are profiling one of the most overlooked pine species in Florida. This is pond pine, Pinus serratina. Pond pine is a medium sized tree, about 40 to 70 feet tall, that occurs across North Florida in very wet areas with poorly drained soils that often have markedly um, fluctuating water tables. So they can be very wet at times and then they can be very, very dry at times. Some examples of these types of habitats would be this wet flatwood that we're in here today. Uh, also wet savannas, uh, the margins of small streams and ponds, swamps, pocasins, and bays. These areas often have frequent fire returns. As you can see, the fire scars on the trunk of this pond pine. Pond pine can often be identified just by its profile from a distance because it's the only pine species we have in Florida which exhibits epicormic growth. Epicormic growth is this ability to sprout new branches on any part of the trunk. So typically with a pine of this size, you would not see a small little new branch sprouting out this low. This is a response, an adapted, evolved response to fire so that it can photosynthesize even if the fire burns up its branches. It can re-sprout those branches. And it gives, and because it re-sprouts so often, it ends up having a very shaggy, messy uh, profile. So it will have a lot of small branches and they're thin. They're very thin compared to, you know, these longleaf pine, Pinus palustris over here, which have thicker branches and fewer branches. The pond pine, Pinus serotina, has a bunch of thin, messy, kind of tangled branches. And that kind of messy look is very distinctive. Even from a distance, I can spot which pines out here are pond pines and which are longleaf. The bark of pond pine is often a dark gray to reddish color, and it forms thin, narrow, irregular plates, bark plates, which are kind of flaky. And they're often also scarred by fire, like this one is. All of this black here are fire scars. The needles are a medium sized length, usually about five to eight inches long, yellowish green in color, and born in bundles, fascicles, of three and occasionally four needles per bundle, per fascicle. The length of the needle is really similar to uh, slash pine and loblolly pine, but the pond pine, Pinus serratina, these needles are not as straight as both loblolly and slash. They tend to be slightly wavy, and so from a distance even, you can see they look kind of messier because they're not as neatly arranged. Um, they're not as straight and they're also not as oppressed in their arrangement on the, the slender twigs that they occur on. So Loblolly, remember, has the uh, needles that are oppressed and very erect and upright on the stems, whereas Pinus serratina, pond pine, the needles are held almost perpendicular, not quite, but almost, so that they're held out and away from the branches, giving it more fluffy appearance. The species name of pond pine, serotina, refers to the botanical term serotinus. Serotinus means retaining seeds within a cone or fruit until the passing of fire releases them. And pond pine retains its seeds within a closed cone on the tree for up to 10 to 12 years even. They, the cones will stay on the tree closed until fire comes through the landscape again. The heat from the fire triggers the cones to open and release their seeds. And the seeds have this newly cleared soil just below them with less competition, newly released nutrients, and they have a better chance at survival that way. The serotonous cones of pond pine are fairly distinct. They're short and squat. Uh, when they're unopened, 
they are very um, conical in shape but once they're open this one isn't fully open because it's been wet but once they're open they're very rounded short squat very round with this kind of truncate flat bottom and by the time they fall from the tree you know they've been retaining them for maybe even 10 12 years so they have lost most of their color and they're usually grayish once they fall to the ground but when they're on the tree they're this beautiful kind of reddish brown color and they do open up quite a bit more when they're on the tree so they look very rounded when they're fully open they do initially have little spines but they typically have dropped them by the time they fall so they're kind of worn away and you can't really feel them very much on the cone the cones that remain on the tree are all open and that's because a fire came through not long ago and we know because the cones are open and because there are fire scars on the bark and you can see the very classic very round almost spherical shape of the pond pine cones on these ones that are still being retained on the tree and they're also still more brownish on the tree as well because they're not quite as old as the ones that have fallen Sorry it was so dark out today and overcast, it makes it hard to film, but I hope you learned something new about pond pine today, and you might even be able to identify it in the field in North Florida in a wet, poorly drained area near you.